The country is reopening in many places. You don't need to wear a mask anymore. It's not mandated by the state. In fact, LA recently changed that, I believe just yesterday. That said, you still might need to in certain establishments. Businesses are allowed to protect their employees by requiring masks. And so the big trend of the last year, getting insanely mad at people for just doing their job and asking you to wear a mask, that continues leading to a ton of conflict, including sometimes uh, death. And so we have an instance of that, incredibly tragic. An Atlanta area grocery store cashier was killed and three other people were injured in a shooting following a dispute over a face mask policy in the supermarket on Monday. The suspect got into an argument with a cashier about his face mask before leaving the store without making a purchase. He immediately returned inside, pulled out a handgun and shot the cashier. A reserve deputy who worked part time as security for the store and was wearing a bulletproof vest then exchanged gunfire with the suspect and both were injured as a bullet grazed a second cashier. Officers arrested the suspect as he tried to crawl out the supermarket door. So another situation where everything else being exactly equal, even including his insanity over masks. If you just hadn't had a gun in that case, a person wouldn't have died. That's what guns do. They make it so that people can be killed who wouldn't otherwise be killed. But let's also focus on the masks. This guy was so infuriated by being asked to wear a mask that he didn't just leave. He wanted to kill someone over it. That is what these anti, the anti-mask propaganda and rhetoric that's been spread over the past year has produced. We can't point to any one particular rant. We can't point to any one particular right-wing personality or Instagram post or whatever. But this person died as a result of the accumulated mass of that. Yep, because there's countless versions. The reason why you can't point to one particular one is because they're all over the place, and that's the idea. You know, once you've built up this cult thought think process, where if somebody says, "Hey, put on a mask," then it becomes some kind of a threat on your existence that you have to then fight back and go get your gun. Because someone said, yep. put a mask on. They also say, put shoes on, because we don't want your nasty ass feet walking around on our floors. They also say, put a shirt on, because we don't want to smell your funky armpits walking around here with whatever dripping down the sides. We don't want it. It's a place where other people are shopping. Consider them. Actually, we have more customers than you, dummy. Get out and put on a mask. Yeah. I don't care if you don't like it. Sometimes I like going around walk, you know, I walk around my house without shoes on because that's comfortable. I don't do that when I go to someone else's place because that's their place. Start respecting yep. other people in the place. And if you don't like it, I don't know, start growing your own corn in your backyard, eat that. Don't go to the grocery store then. You and this this whole thing that we talk about, these freedoms in the country. Go and exercise some of those rather than going and ending yeah. someone else's life because they're doing their job. Their job yeah. in, a, in, in a in a position like that where they're getting but it's constant type of work like this, thankless work like this, where you're under now threat of being murdered for telling someone to put on a mask because that's the store policy. Yeah, and I'm gonna assume it wasn't her policy. Like you crazy people, like you're arguing with a cashier at Trader Joe's. They didn't come up with the mask policy. They're just trying to do their job in incredibly dangerous and difficult circumstances anyway during a pandemic. So again, like these these crazy right wingers spread this message, and who hurts? The working class, not like the CEO made the decision; he shouldn't suffer at all either. But like it is the frontline workers that are going to be victimized by these insane people. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.